At this very moment, there are over 15 billion connected devices collecting data across the planet. By 2035, that number will explode to over 100 billion. The cost to train cutting-edge AI models is dropping by half every 12 to 18 months. Increasing data collection points and cheaper computing costs could very possibly be the most impactful advancements that will reshape our world in the near future. We are going to uncover what machine learning is, how the world of data collection is rapidly evolving, the change in computing costs, and how machine learning is becoming more accessible for smaller players, which will all ultimately give us an idea of what the future of machine learning will look like. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence where systems learn from data rather than following explicit programming instructions. Instead of telling a computer exactly what to do in every situation, we feed it examples and let it discover patterns on its own. It's how Netflix knows what you want to watch next, how your phone recognizes your face, and how autonomous vehicles navigate city streets. One thing reshaping machine learning's future is the unprecedented explosion of data collection points, both real and simulated. Well, it's, it's been said that if, if AI is a, is a rocket, then the engine is the algorithms and the fuel is the database. By the end of 2025, 182 zettabytes of consumer data will be generated globally, with 90% of that created in just the last two years. Behavioral data is being gathered and stored at rates we've never seen before. Take TikTok as an example. A US case in 2025 exposed the company's intrusive data collection practices. Multiple state attorney generals filed lawsuits accusing TikTok of collecting extensive personal data, user location, device identifiers, and biometric data. They also accused the platform of using addictive design techniques to increase user engagement and data harvesting. While many allegations focused on minors, these lawsuits highlighted pervasive data collection practices impacting all users, including adults. An analysis by Safety Detectives, a publishing group of cybersecurity experts, looked into data from the top 50 free apps on Android and iOS. They found that over 90% of app users accept all data permissions without opting out, giving apps broad access to personal data by default. This applies across most mobile apps. Companies broker this data to corporations that use it to run machine learning projects. Meta has openly acknowledged using user data to train AI systems across its platforms to personalize ads and recommend content. Companies now have an exponentially growing source of consumer data to use in machine learning. Apps aren't the only culprits collecting vast amounts of personal data. Home hardware does too. Ecovax is a Chinese company that sells its D-Bot robot vacuums widely in the U.S. through Amazon and Best Buy. Investigative reports by ABC News revealed that Ecovax vacuums collected photos, videos, and voice recordings inside users' homes to train AI models, without clearly informing users of the full extent of data collected. With a never-ending increase in the need for consumer data, higher adoption of smart home devices, and AI hardware just around the corner, companies will have an expanding data source to integrate into machine learning. But here's the question. Will companies even need all this real-world data in the future? Digitally simulated environments may have been used previously, but how does it work, and how will it advance the future of machine learning? Digital environment simulations are computer-generated virtual models that replicate real-world systems, processes, or scenarios for training purposes. The University of Missouri states that digital simulations provide perfectly labeled synthetic data, reduce the cost and time of real data collection, improve model reliability, and enable rapid, diverse scenario testing. Digital environments will play an increasing role in AI training. Tesla has been keen to adopt this technology. They use digital simulations to create rare, complex scenarios like unusual pedestrian behavior or extreme weather that real data rarely captures, accelerating their full self-driving goals. The overall simulation market is valued around $72 billion in 2024 and is projected to reach over $172 billion by 2033. Key platforms driving this growth include NVIDIA Omniverse, which provides real-time 3D digital twin simulations used in manufacturing, smart cities, and industrial AI applications. Companies like Siemens use it to design and optimize advanced factories with photorealistic and physics-based models. Unreal Engine, a high-fidelity 3D engine, is widely used for gaming, simulations, architecture, and AI training, supporting immersive virtual environments. 
Google Genie, released on August 5, 2025, made a massive impact by enabling users to create dynamic, explorable 3D virtual worlds from simple text prompts. The advancements in physical world replicas will allow companies to test dangerous and unpredictable scenarios previously less accurate or simply impossible, outputting unique datasets to train AI models on. Beyond replicas of physical environments, AI-to-AI -AI conversation replication is pushing machine learning capabilities forward. Advanced AI models can simulate dialogue between agents, helping train conversational AI systems to improve interaction by generating realistic, multi-agent exchanges. This is much needed in customer-facing industries like fast food, where there have been multiple humorous stories of drive through bots making errors. Uh, two vanilla creamers and two sugars. Was that a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit? No. A notable mention being a McDonald's AI drive through that made headlines after bizarre mistakes like putting bacon in ice cream. Perhaps nothing will democratize machine learning more than the fall in training and inference costs. Training state-of-the-art AI models like OpenAI's GPT-4 has cost around $78 million in compute resources alone, with Google's Gemini Ultra reaching up to $191 million, However, since 2020, AI training costs have grown roughly 3.5 times per year, representing over a 4,300% increase in four years. GPUs and TPUs account for 40 to 50% of training costs, highlighting companies like NVIDIA and AMD as key players. Jensen Huang, CEO of NVIDIA, recently remarked, we will continue to drive the improvement of computational power, which will continue to lower computing costs. NVIDIA predicts substantial future reductions in computing costs, driven by continual improvements in GPU performance and efficiency through new architectures like Blackwell. Jensen Huang envisions cutting the cost of computation by thousands or even millions of times over the next decade. Current trends show NVIDIA scaling GPU production and introducing more energy-efficient chips, putting them on track to meet these cost reduction goals. Meanwhile, AMD is also advancing rapidly with competitive AI accelerators, contributing to the broader ecosystem lowering AI training and inference costs. Another project working to reduce computing costs for the future is the Stargate project. It's the largest AI infrastructure project by far in history, and it's all taking place right here in America. Announced by President Donald Trump in early 2025, this $500 billion initiative, led by OpenAI, SoftBank, and Oracle, aims to build a nationwide network of advanced AI data centers. Trump emphasized its role in securing U.S. leadership in AI. The project aims to meet soaring AI compute demand while lowering costs. Compute power investments and innovation are clearly on track to key producing costs. Lowering computing costs advances machine learning by making AI training and inference more affordable and accessible. It enables more organizations to develop, experiment, and deploy complex models without prohibitive expenses. Reduced costs allow for larger datasets, longer training runs, and more iterations, which improve model accuracy and capabilities while encouraging innovation across industries. All of these trends, exploding data, plummeting costs, and improving efficiency, are converging toward one inevitable outcome. Machine learning is becoming accessible to everyone. Just a few years ago, training sophisticated AI models required teams of PhD researchers, millions of dollars in computing infrastructure, and months of development time. Today, that's changing rapidly. A solo developer or small business can now access capabilities that were once exclusive to tech giants. Companies like Hugging Face, founded in 2016, have created ecosystems where anyone can download, use, and fine-tune state-of-the-art models for free. Replicate, launched in 2019, lets developers run machine learning models with just a few lines of code. We're entering an era where machine learning capabilities are doubling on sub-year timescales, where progress compounds on itself, and where every breakthrough accelerates the next one. As training costs plummet, machine learning will inevitably be used to create systems throughout all industries. The future of machine learning is here, and it's more accessible than ever before. Want more videos like this? Subscribe to MacHard for weekly AI updates and leave your thoughts in the comments below.